I feel like every day this week, I'm just going to have donkey today. Every single day. Because remember yesterday, I thought the game was on. I thought I was watching the finals, but I was watching the replay. So then today, shout out to my guy, Authentics Only. Because he told me, he said, hey, I got something. I'm going to send it your way. Just let me know the P.O. box. I got you. I'm like, all right, cool. Appreciate it. So I went to go check it, and he sent it. And, and well, it was these. Oh, so pretty. Oh, they so pretty, man. They look so good. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'm about to wear them at an away game with a white and purple Ravens jersey. Ooh, Tampa Bay or Jacksonville. I don't know. But then I checked the size, and I put them up to my feet. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute. These are my size. They were actually for my wife. So he's, I, I, I was a little hurt because I'm like, oh, I love these. They so nice. And y'all know me. I ain't even in the shoes like that, but I love these shoes. But the fact that they're for her, I'm like, okay, I, I appreciate it a lot, seriously, because this, this week, um, she's doing something that's very, very special this week, uh, so this will mean a lot to her, so I appreciate it a lot, thank you for that. Now, um, somebody who I'm not thanking, uh, you know how somebody can, people can give you a, a compliment, but it can be backhanded, and you don't, don't want to thank nobody for no backhanded compliment, like, oh, Dog, your, your fit looks fire. It looks fire. It'll probably look better on me. Or maybe if it, it might look better if you change your shoes. But, but, but it's still fire, though. Yeah. Who's saying thank you after that? Not me. You, you could keep that. You might as well not even say anything if you were going to say that. It's the same way with Lamar Jackson and ESPN. ESPN gave Lamar Jackson the backhanded compliment from a notification that I know a lot of y'all got because a lot of y'all sent me the same screenshot. From ESPN, Lamar Jackson reported to Minicamp Monday for a physical. Okay, hey, let's go. Lamar Jackson reported, got his physical. He's back in the building. But no, 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 no. That's the compliment part, but don't forget, we got to do the backhand part too. After skipping voluntary OTAs. Okay, okay. It got bad, but that, that's not even the worst part because he did skip voluntary OTAs. He did. But this is where it takes a turn for the worse. A mid-contract dispute. Why y'all lying? <laughs> Lamar Jackson reported to minicamp Monday for a physical after skipping voluntary OTAs amid contract dispute. Where's the contract dispute? When were the Ravens and Lamar Jackson disputing over a contract? Unless it's something that we just don't know about. Because I know you know Lamar Jackson, he's very private. Ravens, they could be very private too. But everything that the Ravens have said publicly, Lamar Jackson, he don't want to talk about it. He don't want to talk about it. He's not worried about the contract right now. Anytime Lamar Jackson has spoken about it, I ain't worried about the contract right now. I just want to play football. But ESPN speaks about it. Lamar Jackson, he skipped voluntary OTAs amid contract dispute. This is why the media can be so dangerous. Because they can twist and turn stuff that's not even like, it's not this. This is not it. They didn't say, oh, Lamar Jackson skipped voluntary OTAs. And, oh, he, he's back after skipping voluntary OTAs and working with a personal QB trainer. They could have said that. Oh, Lamar Jackson is back at mandatory minicamp after skipping voluntary OTAs. Could have said that. Ravens get their QB1 back in the building after he missed all the voluntary OTAs. Could have said that. But to put this, not even just a spin, because I don't mind a spin. I don't mind that at all. But an incorrect spin. That's where it's like, mm, what are we doing, ESPN? What's going on? I wonder if Adam Schefter, if this came from him. Anyway, um, you got to be careful uh, because not everything you see um, is true. And this is just another example. Now, remember what we said earlier? Remember what we said earlier? Uh, in the video where we were talking about Lamar Jackson was actually back. We said, now, just watch how they're going to try to spin this into a negative. The first thing I mentioned was contract. That's the first thing. Um, but, and, and I thought that they were going to say, all right, well, Lamar Jackson, what are you going to do about your contract now? And it was contract, but they, they did it a little different. 
They say, oh, yeah, he, he skipped because of a contract dispute. Now, get this. Tell me this and, and tell, tell me how this makes any sense. If this, if he was skipping voluntary, that means you don't have to be there. It's not mandatory. If he was skipping voluntary OTAs over a contract dispute, why would he show up to mandatory? Because mandatory, if you want to send a message, that's what you skip. You skip something that you have to be there for. That would be the message. Th then they may have a little something. But the fact that he wasn't that voluntary. Hey, Lamar Jackson, you don't have to be here. It's not a requirement that you're here. Okay, I'm not going. Lamar Jackson, hey, it's a requirement that you're here next week. You could be fine. This, that, and a third. I'm there. That, <laughs> that don't sound like a contract dispute to me. It really doesn't. It doesn't. So, you, you, you see. You see it. Now, one other thing. The other thing that I mentioned that I'm sure not only the media but a lot of fans... Um, and a lot of displeased fans, fans that were upset with Lamar for missing voluntary OTAs last week. Um, and it's crazy because a lot of times when we try to explain a point, we try to uh, put ourselves in the shoes of the player or whoever we're talking about for whatever the topic is. But in this case, the shoes, oh, shout out to the shoes, but the shoes of the player. Um, Lamar Jackson... He didn't show up to work for something that he didn't have to show up to work for. It did not increase or decrease his pay whatsoever. Put yourself in his shoes. If your job said, hey, you can come in. You don't have to, though, but you can come in and you could Get a little more camaraderie with your coworkers and stuff. You don't have to. You're, you're going to have plenty of other opportunities to build that same camaraderie with your coworkers. But this is just a little extra something we're putting together. You can come in. It's not a requirement. You're not going to get paid for it. You're not going to get a raise. You're not going to get a decrease. Literally nothing is going to happen with your pay if you decide to come in or not to come in. So you're going to go. If And if you would go, hey, I got no problem with it. But if you wouldn't go, hey, I still got no problem with it. Why? Because it does not have any impact on you whatsoever. In the short term, it's like, oh, well, yeah, it could have been an event where I could have built a little bit more camaraderie and a little bit more chemistry. Even though we're not doing nothing crazy work related, we're just doing super, super, super basic stuff. Super basic stuff. Now. If it was something mandatory, then that, that changes stuff. Oh, we're implementing new stuff for, for our work our work schedule? Oh, we got new things that we're working on? Oh, okay. Uh, hey, you need to be here for that. You're going to go. Hey, you being here could definitely have a significant impact on you. If you're not here, then we're going to dock your pay. If you're not here, we're going to take your vacation time, bonus. We're going we're gonna to take stuff away. Then it's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you there, bright and early. Well, for me, I probably would have been late because I used to always be late to work. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. So that's why with Lamar Jackson, with this whole thing, it's just, it, it wasn't a big deal. Him missing voluntary, because I think that's the, the key word right there, voluntary. And so many people just did not want to accept that for what it was, voluntary. He did not have to be there. And he chose not to be there. And he continued to put up the little video. He didn't have to put up not one single video. He ain't had to put up one single story on Instagram. None of that stuff. But he did. He did. Because I'm sure he wanted to quiet all the noise just a little bit. Because, you know, Lamar, Lamar Jackson hears all of the noise. He hears it all. Y'all know that. He hears all, all the stuff people say about him. He hears all of that stuff. And he responds to a lot of it, too. And sometimes he responds to stuff directly. Sometimes he'll respond to stuff indirectly. But he hears all of it. So it's just a matter of is, is ESPN, is he, is, are they hearing him now? Are they hearing him? Because all this stuff is just, it's been a mess. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And please, 
just try to get accurate information. We out. <laughs>